What's up, guys? It's JDB9210. Today we're going to talk about um, Flash Animation and Macromedia Flash MX. Um, all I can really say is that I've watched many tutorials on YouTube. Some of them are pretty good, some of them aren't too good. And usually the ones that are good either have no voice and they type it to you, so you know that gets annoying because then you have to sit there and wait 20 seconds for them to type out one line of text. Or there's 128 decibels worth of music blowing in your ear, and I don't like, you know, uh, music uh, like music blaring into my ear whenever I'm trying to learn something, because it keeps it to where I cannot stay focused. So hopefully I can keep you guys' attention without getting too much into detail here. But what we're gonna work on today are frames. Every, the biggest misconception in Macromedia Flash and Max is that you have to draw out every single frame. That is not true. Um, what happens is there are actually <coughs> my bad. There are actually keyframes and tween frames. Those are two different kinds of frames. <coughs> so, the keyframes are the beginning, middle, and end point, or the beginning and end point. That's what we're going to work on today, the two step process. The tween frames are the frames in the middle that actually show the animation. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first off, what we're going to do is we are going to grab our elliptical tool over here. If you go over here and you take the elliptical tool right there, grab it, and then drag it, er, and then come down here, you're going to make a perfect circle. Or it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want to make a perfect circle, hold shift and make your circle. Then we're going to go up to the toolbar again, and we are going to click the black arrow tool. So now I have my black arrow tool. Now we're going to outline make sure you outline and don't just click because if you just click it'll leave a nasty outline so um, here I'll show you what I mean if I just click this guy and pull him over to the side you see that part in there and that's not we don't want that so make sure you outline him after you outline him press F8 now this is going to convert him into a symbol your symbol is something that you need to use for anything you ever use. How do I put this? Anything that ever moves or jumps, spins, anything it does. If anything has movement to it that is in the animation, you need to put it into a frame or into a symbol. You will be thanking me in the end for this because if you don't, you will get so confused if you ever try to make a real flash animation. Make sure movie clip is selected. Make sure registration in the middle is selected. Then click OK. Now that we have our symbol done, we're going to go ahead and work on our basic flash animation. Most people believe that you have to put in, you know, um, each and every frame individually. Well, that's a lie. First, we need to go, we need to look up here and see how many frames per second we have. You should be running 12. Okay. If you're not, click out here in the gray, somewhere right here in the gray. Um, oh, my bad. Uh, by the way, here, this is where you see your 12 frames per second up here in the timeline. So, right here. So, yeah. Um, if you're not running that, click somewhere out here in the gray. And then look towards the bottom and you'll see something that says frame rate. Just change that to 12. Because um, we want to use 12 for this video. Which means for every 12 frames we have, that's how many seconds our video have. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do this. Go up here to your timeline. And what we're going to do is go to the 12 frames. She'll make it one second long. We're going to right click in that frame. Okay, then we're going to click insert keyframe. Now, what this has done is this has taken our first frame and our last frame. So, so far, we're real close to already being done. Now, all we're going to do is make sure your black arrow tool is selected. Grab the grab the ball and drag them down to the bottom. My video is going to look choppy because I'm running screen recording software and I don't have the best computer. So, um, then we're going to go out to the top. We're going to right click in the timeline again. Now we're going to click something called create. Now we're going to click something that says create motion tween. There you go. Right now you have your basic flash animation done. If you want to go ahead and drag your timeline all the way to the beginning and press enter, you'll see it. On my screen it's going to look choppy, on yours it'll look smooth. So there we go, there you just did your first basic flash animation. You have now learned about tw tweens and keyframes 
and tween frames. So next, I guess we can go ahead and work on ease. Yes, let's go and work on ease. Okay, ease is physics and gravity and Macromedia Flash and Max to make things look cartoony or more realistic. Um, I don't even have the I don't even have it exactly memorized yet, but I can help you out with that. Um, you'll learn way quicker than I did, so that's just I haven't used it in a while. So what we're gonna do is we need to go out here somewhere far on our timeline, right click and click insert keyframe. Then we need to take the ball and you need to move them up. Right click in somewhere in here, click create motion twin. And we're gonna go out here some more, right click, click insert keyframe, right click click create motion twin but we need to go back to frame 40 and go ahead and bring the ball down that way it looks like it's bouncing okay now we're gonna work on the weight <sighs> well so basically what we are doing right now is we are making a basic flash animation and we're about to add physics to it almost like gravity So. I want you to select the second one, not the first one, but the second one up here. Um, if you've done right, you should it should be in frame 12. That's the one I put it in. So wherever you put it, look down here at the bottom. Down at the bottom, you will see something that says frame, frame label, all that. You'll see something that says ease with an arrow key. Grab the arrow key and slide it all the way up. Okay. Now we're going to go to the next one up here in the timeline it should I put mine at 25 so it's whatever the next one is click it go to the back to the bottom and you should find where it says ease again wherever it says ease this time I want you to grab it and br drag it all the way to the uh, bottom so yeah okay now you can go ahead and practice doing pressing enter again and pressing enter is how you test it by the way um, so it's gonna look choppy on my screen but it'll look more realistic on yours and you'll notice how the ball either start off fast and slow down once it's ground or it'll slow down and then speed up once it's the ground that's what your ease does Yeah, it looks really choppy on my screen, but, you know, if done correctly, um, on this, in between your second and third keyframe, you'll notice how the ball will start out fast and then slow down, and it'll make it look a lot more realistic as if you were actually throwing a ball. So, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and rate, and next we'll be working on motion guides.